A lot of people keep asking me, should I buy a refurbished iPhone like the 5s, 6, 6s or 7? It is not just refurbished but used iPhones in general. So the short answer is absolutely no, do not buy them. Now let me explain why. First let's start with the positives. In terms of performance even today, even my iPhone 5s which is refurbished is working great and it is uh, on par with even the mid-range phones in the Android space so definitely in terms of performance you're only going to get better performance in the 6, 6s, 7 and uh, you can expect good performance even today in 2019 even the camera is relevant even today so definitely not a problem in terms of performance and camera but the real problem is the battery life I mean for analogy what is the point of owning a Ferrari car that only has a tank capacity of around let's say 5 to 10 liters well, that was to give you a rough idea but now let's get into the specifics now all of these models actually have less than 2000 mAh battery and guys i know about the ios optimization and i agree to that it is greatly optimized and that's the reason why they are getting at least this kind of battery performance otherwise it could have been even worse and just compare it with a 2000 mAh android phone definitely these iphones perform better in terms of battery life and also the processors have become more efficient but they did not really increase the battery size for some reason except for the plus models. I mean most people agree to the fact that iPhones are never known for great battery life and to make the matters worse actually you are going to lose out about 5 to 10 or even 20 percent battery capacity if you use a used or refurbished iPhone because the battery eventually deteriorates its capacity. Just do yourself a favor just search for the iPhone model and type drain test and uh, there are a lot of videos so YouTube is your best friend you can find out what kind of battery life that you get mostly they last around two three or even four hours at max and if you look at these refurbished or used iPhone models prices I mean these are taken approximately and also these are kind of best deals that you can get for these models and uh, if you pay the same amount in the Android space you can get a really good budget phone like the Redmi Note 7 Pro or Realme 3 Pro there are so many great options that actually provide you a bigger screen along with great battery life my iPhone 5s gives me a screen on time of about 1.5 to 2 hours with casual or light usage so you can imagine so basically buy the plus models if you really want to buy the refurbished iPhones that can get you a slightly better battery life but if you really want to buy these specific models that I mentioned then don't buy them unless you are a very light user and don't mind charging them maybe thrice or twice a day. So that's been it guys. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Also subscribe. I'll see you soon.